And we've got an excellent lineup. A lot more women's today. squash coming Olivia, for you today. Tesney Evans, she'll take on Olivia Blatchford Klein. That should be a cracker with the atmosphere here. And out one, two. It's a fascinating bit of improvisation by our graphics op, having to just squeeze that name in there. I'll tell you what, she, she, she'd, be, uh, she'd be in trouble, wouldn't she, on the PSA World Tour. I think it's 209, if my memory serves me well. Wow. I know. Wow. That, what, yeah, just keep saying that. She's twinkle toes <laughs> out there. It's because she does so much work in the feet, is it? I'm not sure. I wouldn't necessarily say Muscular. it's due to, it, yeah, to, to her footwork, but she has well, a high you, heart rate. If but. you do watch her footwork... That was a joke. <laughs> if you do watch her footwork, keep an eye on those little feet they pattering do go, around they the do. place. They do. They go like the clappers. Yeah. And that's Hello. a prime example. That area of the court is a huge, huge strength zone for Tesney Evans. But also, look at the way Blatchford Whoa. plays it. I really like her technique. I think she's got a lovely technique on her. Yeah, Blatchford I think Klein. Natalie Granger and her have worked a lot on that. And, <laughs> and she's... And she has way more variation from the front left than she had before. It's something that she's worked on for quite a while, Five, and now four. it's coming to fruition. It's good width. It's very... Oh, my... Oh, oh wow. Oh, gosh. Oh, no, she's done her ankle. Oh, oh my goodness me, that's not good. She's gone over on her ankle. Physio. That's not good at all. That's nasty. That was really nasty. We've got to see this again here. Showing up. Who's the PSA World Tour physio coming? Oh. Oh. Ouch. Oh. Ow. 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 ow, ow, ow. Groans from the crowd. That is nasty. Really nasty. It was an unbelievable shot to wrong foot. Ladies and gentlemen, um, sadly, Miss Evans has sustained an injury bad enough that she won't be able to continue the match. Round of applause. It's very, very sad to see that with it. Obviously, any of the players, it's a nightmare in the ankle and it's so easily done. When he's on. Good matter, bud. <laughs> <laughs> You've gone back a few years, yeah, mate. Go <laughs> uh, ahead, obviously. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, um, mine too, by the way. Yep, go ahead when he's on. In the ladies' game, Raneem. Yeah, mine too as well. Yep. I always, uh, th always thought you had good taste. <laughs> Opening. Oh, he's made the error. So Would you believe that, PJ? After all that hard work, patience of Farag just paying off. Good work from Farag. Oh, he's rolled it. I mean, the, the use of the wrist, just look how 
relaxed this is at the top of the very swing here. I mean, it's almost kind of the racket head drops below the height of the wrist, which isn't something... Terrific movement from Farag. He started to oh. cross court a lot more, though, in this second phase of the game. He's... This is brutal. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, ridiculous movements for both players. Such a tough rally. Great finish from Farag, but that is a brutal rally between these two. Really tough movements going on. It's busy, it's so open. Oh, it's the perfect way to have shot. The racket ends up exactly where it did after the first game of Solomon. Dead as a dodo in that back left-hand corner. What a shot that is. That is a great shot. Yeah, it's acknowledged. I love the timing of the step and hit. A little bit of frustration possibly for Solomon. Doesn't look entirely comfortable, 100%. Possibly the issues with the ankle. Lovely. Yeah, well, he's being moved and manoeuvred around the court now. Oh, what a finish. Well, Yusuf Solomon clearly in a bit of discomfort and pain from that ankle, but an early ball, a one-two from Farag. Yusuf Solomon not moving. Closes out the game nicely there. So Ali Farag through with a solid three-love victory. 45 minutes against Yusuf Solomon. He's certainly looking a player on the PSA natural to him around the Qatar World Championships and now it looks pretty good again looks even better so it's like mark three would you say I would he's got to be careful there Tom Richards cross court through the middle we see it time and time again on the pro tour Yes, good squeeze, good pressure. A lot of work put into the legs of Tom Richards there. 5-2. Yeah, he's moving on to the post quickly. Just caught the side ball slightly, but yeah, I'd like to see Tom Richards just try to vary that front wall a little bit more, PJ, as well. Completely concur with you about the tempo. It's oh, He's all over it. This is hard yeah, for this Richards. Is, this, is, this, is, oh. this is actually Paul Cole. His very best. In, in playing his best, yeah. Yeah, he's what, working the ball nicely, counter-punching well, hitting his marks. Just one or two errors creeping in from Paul Cole. Got off to a fantastic start yesterday. Yesterday or the day before, I can't it remember. It was the day before, it's a day split before. draw. Yeah. 11, five. But then uh, wasn't as solid in the second game. There was a bit of a drop-off. He's been... Flawless, oh pretty much in this me. first That's game. Unbelievable backhand touch there.
handout, 4-2. Yes, it's good from Richards again. He's stepping up the court. He's taking the game to Paul Cole here. Oh, he's taken one to the crust. Oh, on the nose or the mouth. Is there any blood? I'm checking for blood. Yeah, looks like there could be some blood. I remember watching that. Oh. See this again. Yeah, oh, yeah. ouch. That's a complete whack in the, uh, on the follow through. Teeth. Yeah. Awkward area to be hit, obviously. It's kind of the lip and the teeth. Played that fairly. Good width. No. It's very, very good width and depth from Cole. Nine so, all. good maturity. Kept his head, kept his focus to get back. Oh. He's got it back. This is good pressure from. Rick. Oh my goodness me. Uh, that's brilliant. Great rally. Terrific rally. Very well played from Richards. Really, really top stuff. Good pressure. Irving with a game ball for the first time in this second game. Tom Richards frustrated there, but a very, very good second game. He had his opportunity. He had game ball to close out. But it's... He's come out strong here, Paul Colt. Yeah, he's been. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just, this is sending out a message for me. Just want to give a bit of a shout out to one of Tom Richard's contemporaries. I think he's nailed this technique, mate. I think he's absolutely nailed this technique. This is very apparent for me, Paul Colt. It looks yeah, natural it and gets. it looks relaxed when you're trying to change and tinker with techniques within a season, which he's done. Love up. You know, Tom Richards has played a very, very good game against Paul Colt and he's had absolutely no joy. So that just shows, just as I say that, he's, hit, he's done a double hit. Well, he's done that on purpose. Well, of course he has. It's 13 points in a row that was for Paul Colt. Yeah, uh, Paul Colt. I always do believe that, uh, I know. Oh, sorry. Another aspect of the technique is when it ties in with your movement. For me, it's kind of a bit more as one rather than Moving yeah, to the ball, then hitting, hitting down of the ball there. He's loving this exhibition stuff. Uh, the tin. Well, he yeah, has. Tom Richards. All, I mean, it's a very. I mean, he's lost three love there, but it's. You know, we've had hardly any refereeing decisions, hardly anything at all, because these guys have played very, very fairly, but with great quality of movement and ball control. Tom Richards has had a wonderful tournament here. He's had a great tournament. He's got into the third round. He played a superb second game, was unlucky to have not won that second. So it'll be interesting to see what kind of a player turns up because, of course, the last time we saw Altayeb was in the World Champs um, and where she retired against Rene Melwalili because of, of the, you know, the personal uh, tragedy that she and Ali were going through. So. Yeah, well, at least... Well, Taib's had a bit of time, hasn't One she, at home? Not so much fairly far to that ball.
Hand out. Six five. Effective use of the strings there. Oh, very nice. Very nice taking the pace Seven, off very nicely. Inched above the tin. Touche. Hand out, 9 7. Well, mm. the mini break that we've had or that was enforced with the cancelling of Hong Kong. Two game balls here for Tayeb. Oh, wow. What a catch. What a pick up from Tayeb. I mean, against most players, that was a winning shot from yeah. Robin. One game below. That is a ridiculous a get, and she wins the point from it. Amazing. I, do you think Taib will mind, though, if, if Lobin is attacking from those back corners? I reckon she'll back her speed most of the no, time. She won't like her when she's in front of her. I don't think she'd Five mind, seven. but I'm looking at her body language. She looks. She doesn't look... Uh, it, it's, it's more that I don't think she minds being taken to the front because she quite likes moving forward and moving full stop. But um, it's more the unsettled nature of... A lot of cuts on that ball. Yeah. Out, Just eight, clipping eight. Lobin with the follow through. There's a two point difference here, and she's been somewhat gifted two errors from Lobin from somewhat advantageous positions. So that would give me hope if I was in Lobin's camp. It's a good hold. <laughs> Yeah, but it's quite random from Tyre. Very open Hello. squash. Eight, nine. It's open squash. Really winding up on that nine. forehand Game and then whipping it through. Five the elbow eight. seems to be taking over left. a little bit too much for Type. Look at the elbow there. Yeah, that's new. Did you have a good um, Christmas break? <laughs> Thanks for asking that's me. Right. Did, you, uh, <laughs> did you stay <laughs> in sunny... Did you this off air? Or... <laughs> did you stay in sunny no, San Francisco? I did stay in sunny San Francisco. Um, Were you coaching and, coaching and preparing players for things or not? British Junior Open, of course. Yeah. Uh, Tai Al Tayeb's game a bit together, settle her down a bit. It was a longer rally, and I know she does like to fire it in, but it seems to have helped her. Not up. No end. Well, she's making the court big there for Lobin. I like how early she's onto this ball. She's a real huntress. Thing is, though, the errors are coming when there's uh, a big gap, so there's a bit of yeah. respite for. And she's definitely. Tired. She's definitely in the last. Bar those last two rallies, there's more pep in the stat of El Tayeb. She's, <laughs> she's moving to the front quicker. Then there's been times where she's been forcing it from positions where she shouldn't be taking it on. That was nicely taken. Oh, <laughs> a little bit of the matrix there to make sure that ball didn't hit her body. Eight, Just ever so slight. slight. Down. 11 6. Well, the error from Donna Lobbert. <laughs> 11-8, 11 11-9, 11-6. Well, it's a solid performance from Norel Tayeb without maybe getting into fifth gear. But she was asked a few questions, she was tested, and she was up to it. So, First of all, you're playing very well. You ran into a buzzsaw tonight. 
But what I really want to talk about is your incredibly gracious offer and support of Australia going through right now. Can you just talk a little bit about what you've seen there, what you're experiencing, and what, what, why you made this offer? Uh, I guess what I've seen there is what everybody here has seen. I've been overseas uh, training for a long time and having to watch it all in the news from far away, and it's really hard to see the devastation that's happening at home. Um, it's just so many families, so many people affected, um, and tragically so much wildlife because a lot of the bushfires have torn through national park kind of forest. So one of the things I noticed that you did was you were challenging the audience here to go to uh, the tier Tournament of Champions Facebook site, and you can go to the actual URL where you can contribute and to match at least what you've done here, if not more. Yeah, I mean, like I've tried to say to everyone, any amount helps, so whatever, if, if you're able to, whatever you can give is fantastic. And then when you talk to him about the different aspects you might have seen, he goes away immediately, he watches it, and then Down. he comes back and goes, right, I've watched that, I agree with that, or, right. and, and, he's, and he talks about tweaking and changing things, and that can only lead in one direction. And slightly nervy error, those cross -court, that cross-court nick. He used to hate the day's rest when he was uh, before his injury and when he's in tip-top condition because he just wanted to crack on. But I would say now, coming back into the frame at 37 as well, he's quite thankful to have two sessions of physio with Matthew Benoit yesterday. Yeah, I bet there's, there would have been no moaning whatsoever about the rest day. Oh, what a shot. I mean, that's it's acknowledged. It's beautiful. Beautiful, the touch, the heavy hitting, and the and contrasting touch. Raging ball charging at him at the picket line. Yeah, I think the general has delivered a bit of a masterclass here in, ta in terms of tactics. He's playing a thinking game. He's also not hitting the ball that hard. You that see is it, wonderful. It, it's a, the calculated pace that he's hitting. He's not knows he can't out-hit this powerful Nine young four. Egyptian. So misjudgment, Gregory Gaultier, it's the perfect Gaultier scenario one game to love. for the French general. Well, there it is. He hit 15 of those against Abulgar. First one Too here low. this evening. Clever, very subtle from Asal. Sucked Gaultier in for the straight ball and then switches it cross court. It's good. Power is just thumping that ball past the reaching Ten Gaultier. Four. Game ball. Better get back to controlling the pace of things. Six, it's the, ten, it was that hold and, and then shot into the. We didn't see a replay of that, but it would have been close. It would have been close. It's good he didn't take space there. Oh, oh my goodness me! Oh, oh, he's in the floor! He's in the floor. He looks back. He's so nervous. He's so nervous. The power there, and then into the floor. Gregory Gaultier has come back to a tie break in the second points. game. The crowd are going bonkers. Brilliant refing. What does he mean by not influence? Well, I mean, he's obviously got his English completely wrong, but it was uh, the point of was good. Well, there he goes. Played. Shut it out. He's finished that off brilliantly. He has. We've got a game on our hands. The quality has been unbelievable. Away. The accuracy of these guys has been so good. I mean, looking back at Gaultier, I mean, he hasn't half played two absolute physical 
specimens in the form of Mossad now Mustafa Asal. <laughs> yeah, two monsters. <laughs> His two second rows <laughs> in the rugby. It's a nice hold. Gautier's left a bit stranded there. 4 3. Oh. He's trying to, trying to press up the court. There's the heavy forehand. He hasn't got it. He's under pressure. That's brilliant retrieval. Oh, my goodness. Huge rally now. Who's going to win it? Oh. oh. <laughs> oh, he got for the biggie! Oh! He's nailed it. <laughs> what a rally! <laughs> oh, they deserve a little stroll around the court before regrouping to do there battle once more. Boom! Killer in this, very, very good. Three game. Oh my goodness me! Have you seen that shot? We got that. You got to see this one. We've got to get that again quickly. Here we go. Here we go. Game ball. <laughs> Top spin volley bows, of course it is. <laughs> needs to try not to let this go bonkers, Gaultier. He needs to get that. Get lobbing. That medium pace, quality oh. length. He's made the error. He's rushed onto it. It was all a rush. He's got to try to go back. The sound's getting the crowd going now. <laughs> he needs to go back <laughs> to a bit more control. Oh, he's got it. He got it. Very athletic. Oh! Give him a stroke. He's given a stroke. He's given a stroke. So Mustafa Asal takes the third game. He's the game three format there that he came through. One, two, three, four, five points in a row to win. 12. <laughs> oh, well played. Oh. Well played. Oh, just... The young exuberance of Mustafa Asal oh. walloping one between his legs. <laughs> That's ball control. There we go but didn't win the rally. Just running it slightly deeper, and it means that Asal's lunging up past it ever so slightly and then having to fetch it with his racket work. Oh, my word, he <laughs> hasn't played the boast the entire match. That's clever, isn't Gregory it? Gregory Gaultier, he's kept Seven, it pretty straight, five. and he's completely bamboozled Asal. <laughs> Very excited. <laughs> Just trying to conjure, Just could have a sit down. <laughs> conjure up something that wasn't necessarily there. But. Oh, brilliant. Perfect well, shot. Nail biting. This has been one of the most accurate squash matches I've seen for quite a long time, Nine you know. It, it, well, it's been an exhibition of ball control. Oh. I mean, it's incredible. Just even the subtlety there on that volley, controlling the movement and body weight of us out. Yeah, it's good. Well played. It's that was awkward. That was very awkward. That ball was chasing Gaultier towards his chest. And he adjusted brilliantly. Serves with game ball to take this into a fifth. And he's gone for it. He's gone for it. He went for it. Gaultier's furious with himself because it wasn't quite outright. Why has he not gone at the body? ball for the chin-jutting general. <laughs> He's won it in the team, Gaultier's sake of the fourth game. This is going all the way. Unbelievable squash. Fantastic, fantastic battle ensuing here in New York. What a shot. Yeah, it's what an unbelievable shot. shot. It's an unreal shot. He took it ridiculously early. Yeah, he but look at the, the quality. Again. Look at the quality. It's a long way back. Shot. Shot. Punishing that loose cross court volley, Nick, from Asal. 2 6. Oh. 
Oh, he's got it. Yeah. OK, yeah, I'm going to let the video referee have a look at the pick-up. Well, Gaultier is convinced this is a double. Oh, he's got it. Yeah. OK, yeah, I'm going to let the video referee have a look at the pick-up. Well, Gaultier is convinced this is a double. Well, we're going to have a look at it. It was close. Yeah, yeah, it's double. It's double. It's double. It hits the floor. Twice. One, yeah. two. Yeah, there you go. Not good. The ball is good. Oh, what? Yeah. What? He can't be doing and saying that. Eight, four. Oh, oh, my I goodness. I get that me. wrong every single time. How? It's either I can't see it. That looked like a double, I thought. Uh, that looked like Salah, a double to me. But anyway, that's very odd. Very, very odd indeed. Courtier was in a good position as well. He shouldn't have given up the rally. He should have appealed after if he'd lost it, rather than stopping completely. Costly, very costly, right, very, very costly. Nine to four. Hugely costly for Gaultier. It's a shame, isn't it? Five match balls for Mustafa Asal. played it well it's brilliant yeah it's played it it's brilliant absolutely brilliant the big bear hug it's a superb match it's a superb match it really was an absolute brilliantly contested match there he goes giving a hug big respect for which stuff for us it's nice to see from the big youngster from Cairo an absolutely superb match a little bit Gaultier leaving everything on there as per usual changing things up to a little bit, not just on court, but Yao has, ever since he was 11, he was he has been coached by Andrew Cross. And he's just, in the last couple of months, and he's spent the last two, two months in Bristol. Yet yet another... There's another one that's converted. Yeah. Well, possibly a little bit too early to see the real impact yeah. of the move, but early signs look good. And out. 3-5. It's good technique there. Of a mistake is sometimes referred to as insanity. <laughs> <laughs> the definition say, of... What are trying to say? Is Tarek's insane. <laughs> yeah, it's good strength. Slightly heavier hit on the Hendo, backhand kill. Nine, Stands seven. his ground, waits for it to come off the back wall. Moment. Wonder Jeans is shaking her head there from Tarek Mumbach, but wonder how many times he's worked on this area, moving up onto the ball quickly, straightening it for the drive. He was almost forced to play it, but he's changed it up between a drive and then the lobs, and then so if, you, if it, as you say, PJ, he can continue to get on to that ball early, then he's allowing himself a lot of options. He's got to do something better with it. Five, the, yeah. the whole of the right side of the court open here. Tarek Moment so far up the Malaysian. Pressing on now, Tarek moment. Looks so much more comfortable than he did last night. Eight, three. It's trouble. Yeah, it's well played. It's a straight option again, mm -hmm. isn't it? And out. 4-10, game ball. It's a bit of a shocker. 11-4, <laughs> game to moment. It's a bit of a tired Moman movement two really games in the end from this young Malaysian. Clinical stuff from Tarek Moman. Oof, that's a run. Uh, just a quick look <laughs> at the pattern of play. A slight uh, surge from 
play yeah, will resume in, the first half in of the 60 first, seconds. Sorry, second game, but then it was all about Tarek Moman. Just a flurry of eight points in a row. Um, but we were asking our sports data labs guy what what the <laughs> his name is <laughs> Mike. Sorry, sports data labs Mike. guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, what the max is because if 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 you're looking at that and um, Yao's kind of average working rate in the last match was about 195, 196. Yes. Let's say. What would that suggest then? Actually? It might Too suggest low. that he's a little bit flat or fatigued in this particular match. Quite an important rally here for Yell. Yeah, it's clever. He set the point up beautifully, just puts a bit of hold in the swing on the forehand, sends Tarek Moman, sorry, on the backhand, sends him cross court. Yeah, it was a slightly long follow through on the backhand. It's very, very pretty and very nice at the back. But if you are. That was shorter. No so that, yeah, yeah, there was no back. I mean, I don't like to argue with you, Ashley, but oh, I'm, go I'm ahead. going to slightly disagree with you on that. Because we saw a good example of it there. We'll talk about it in the next game. Norman that's a fantastic game one. from the 21-year-old from Malaysia. Outplayed Tarek Moman there. It's ridiculous court coverage from Tarek Moman. Oh, nice. <laughs> nice, he's used the lift again. I think Tarek will be very happy with you calling that shot. <laughs> nice. Three six. Perfect width. Right opposite his opponent there. Match ball. Well, the decision from the video referee has been deemed that at point of impact when Tarek was going to try and play the ball, it was too deep in the court. I personally disagree. Yeah. This is probably one of the fastest players on the planet. Match to moment. Three games to one. But it's all 11 9, 11 4. Irrelevant. 3 11. Tarek moment. Nine. Finally gets the job done. Took him four games. But in the end, just a little bit too much in the tank. 43 minutes in duration, so quite a, a nice, healthy time frame for him. Three games to one, 11-9, 11-4. 3-11 in that third, impressive from the Malaysian, but closing out 11-9 in the fourth. Unbelievable how she just plucks these performances seemingly out of thin air, and it can't be much competitive play because when she's off, on a break or she's had a few injuries she's not she's not getting the competitive play on a glass court but it's stunning she's just a fantastic competitor yeah she's got such a young age such and a wealth of experience and she was uh, going around at 14 years of age playing Norel Shabini but obviously Van der Heiden got proposed to her local tourist uh, no not by a local tourist <laughs> it was uh, by her long-term boyfriend and she said was yes. it on a camel or was it 6-1 I don't know it was in actually. the glass court wasn't it yeah I don't yeah. think they had a camel in the court but the <laughs> um... Out 
not up. Hand out, 4-8. Down. 11 4, game to Sherbini. It's good the referee Sherbini called leads that one. one game to love. So the Warrior Princess takes the first game here. Like the match lasted 22 minutes and you didn't even get a workout, and you're off on the plane home. That's, after all the training that you do, that's intensely irritating. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, quick hands, nice adjustment. Yeah. She's a busy bee. Hand out, three all. Well, that's just unfair. What a flip. Hand out, How four dare all. she do that? Honestly. Have a word. Beautiful, yeah. Sorry, I'm just copying what you say. That was six. Yeah, five. another quick attack. Further back on the tee, so good shot selection there. That's unlucky, really unlucky. She had Shabini on the run. She did. 9-8. Very fortunate. She's so taking a little out, bit of time eight. to regroup. The old tap of the ball on the front wall and then walk back slowly to go and collect it. <laughs> Follow up. Oh my goodness. She's got a. Oh. Oh, oh put away. Well, uh, the Warrior Princess doing what she does, chasing eight. balls down Games even under be, pressure, and then when the opportunity's there, going for it. Not up. 3 1. Shabini's putting any thoughts of a a Dutch comeback to bed. Hand out, 8-2. Well, there it is, Down. arms back in action. 11-4, match to Shabini, three games to love. So, Nora Shabini closes eight, out. 11-4. In three games, a very, very good performance in the second from Van der Heiden against the current world champion, 24 minutes. For a few years and then when she went to university she went and studied to become a physio so she went to birmingham university oh. i think 
I think she went to Birmingham. Don't, you don't, I thought she did. For but. all. You sure it wasn't Manchester? Well, A really tight shot again from Cortese. Six off. And then the racket shape and angle. Temptation on that cross court volley, Nick, sometimes is to really try and force it in. Yeah, you're asking for trouble. If you chip that ball up the way that she did, to King. King's King gonna punish it. One game to love. Yeah, tidy. Yeah, good switch Five, from one. King. One. Well, it's all about nine game balls for King. And out, two ten game ball. Well, Joel King. 11-2. Bit of a steamrollering in that King second game. Cortese obviously furious with a serve. Just teeing it up for King. Okay, though. King presses on. Business at hand. Still one more match to come after this one. Involving Naily Gillis. And Sarah Jane Perry. Two training partners now. Yeah. As Naily one, Gillis is being coached by Rob Owen. And so is... Cortese. I think Cortese just has to keep exaggerating the shots. And out, 7 2. Stand here from Cortese. Four ten, match ball. Still six match balls for Joel King. Eleven and delivered. Four, match so to King, King three comes games off court. to love. Eleven nine, eleven two, eleven four. Relatively comfortable in the end. 
26 minutes, three love victory. Yes, good work from Gillis. 2-1. Yeah, she's got good cut on the ball there. And out Maybe for all. Edge of the racket coming through towards... Watching again the, the heart takes rates a of, of sorry Ashley, of Madeline Perry. Go on. I can't remember watching a player where there is so much fluctuation. So she's she was down in the 170. Oh, she's now creeping up and she's creeping up quickly to the kind of 188, 189 yep. kind of region. But then just watch how quickly that drops though. Nine six. It's trouble. Which has made another error. My goodness. Well, this is a little bit unfortunate for Sarah Jane Perry. She tries to restrict to minimise her swing so she doesn't hit. Well, that's the danger. If the accuracy isn't there from Naila Gillis, this ball's going to get put away. And out 12 all. Pressure. It's a lot of pressure coming in from SJ. Oh, it's a great switch of back oh, across the body. well done. That's a clever shot. This was a decent shot initially from SJ, pushing Naila Hillis into that high forehand corner, then back cross court across the body. It's quite hard to see. And out. Uh, just creeping up to the 185, 186 mark for Sarah Jane Perry. Just doing enough at the late stage. Played the tie break well. To keep playing point after uh, shot after shot after shot, oh. it puts that pressure on. So you end up having to play four or five extra quite yeah. yeah extra yeah. extra po extra shots, shots yeah. should I say? Yeah. And uh, it gets it gets to the mind that you get and a bit L3 irritated four. that <laughs> you're not. You know. Technical question for you here, mm -hmm. Ashley. Go on. You made reference earlier into the match that Naylor on the forehand yeah. side, the forehand preparation is a little open, or the racket's a little yeah. laid off. Do you see that as a, a as a negative? And, and if so, five all. what would you try to do to... I mean, that's an unbelievable explanation. That's, so that's my first question. Second question, how would you rectify and remedy that? What would you do? A solo it's practice. Okay. So, on a practice, racket but head what would, above what would the, the wrist. The racket head above the wrist Eight rather five. than. Four game balls for a two love lead for SJ. Oh, that's brilliant. That's a bit more like it. If you watch the racket preparation, bang on the cue here, SJ. The racket and the wrist all and come back together. It's not so laid off. Yep. See that? A stroke. stroke to Perry. Oh, rather subdued uh, reaction from the crowd. Not quite sure. Seven, stunned as to what happened, Perry but the ball comes out into the middle of the court. It's tight. And out to all. Very, very tight backhand drop from SJ. A lot of options from that.
Yeah, it's clever. Got what he deserved, really. It wasn't the great you were. She's pointing straight away. That ball should have gone deep from SJ. And out for all. Tries the old Aussie boast, and it <laughs> just kind of comes back to bite her on the foot. <laughs> Yeah, it's good pressure. But again, this is something else that, I mean, it just stands and out to out me. That the damage four. is not done there by the... Yeah, it's good trickery from SJ. Backhand volley drop, just clipping the side wall, giving SJ too much time, too many options in that front corner. Three match balls for the number eight seed. Yeah, she's done it. Clever. Good injection of pace in the racket head there. Play. Valiant Three effort from Nela Hillis from Belgium. Six but in two, the end, 14, the skills of the court craft of SJ just proving a little bit too much in the end. Quality game of squash to bring this uh, evening to a close.